here's the story. I need to design a landing page that will send ad traffic to promoting the new email editor that we have in ConvertKit. And instead of just designing this page, building it, shipping it, I really want to use this opportunity to start building a system so that for future campaigns, we don't have to design a page from scratch and we can instead pull together a page from various different components. If all of this is sounding like something that you would have expected we had already, you're not wrong. We have had other priorities, but now is the time to create this or at least make a start. I don't have the luxury of a whole lot of time. Um, for one, I'm the creative director at ConvertKit. I lead our brand studio team. There's a lot on this week. It's performance review time. We've got a team retreat coming up. So I've got a lot of like um, team management stuff to do but this is a project that needs to get done and I also really like to still get my hands into the pixels from time to time. Realistically, I need to have this page designed and be ready to build within the next four days. So we're on a bit of a time crunch. Uh, I'm gonna do what I can and I'm gonna bring you along on the design journey with me. To start with, let me show you the brief that our wonderful product marketing manager has put together for me. So to start with, she's put together a few examples where a product feature page differs from an ad landing page uh, from a few different brands. So it's super helpful that she's put together these examples. And over here, she's also started to plan out what she would like to see in the system. So ideally, this is gonna be a system that she can use herself to put together designs. She's got quite a design mind, um, fantastic to work with. It's always great when people have that. And so the, the goal, the dream, is that we have the system first in Figma that she can put together, like this is what I'm imagining for the landing page, ask designers, myself or David, the other designer on the Brand Studio team could come in and make tweaks from there. And eventually maybe we can get to a place where she can actually build out the page herself um, from our code base in the back end. That part might take a while, but we can at least focus on getting things into Figma for now. So yeah, we have all of these different hero options, testimonial options, pricing options, this sort of thing. And she's got here what she would like to see as the like MVP for this page. Um, we are both in alignment on the fact that we're not gonna get the full system built out for this one ad landing page that I have to create in four days, but we can at least make a start. And I think knowing where we wanna end up will help me make the right design decisions for this one page that I'm designing like in isolation. When she says animation here, um, luckily for my four day timeline, this is something we've already created. We worked with a fantastic motion graphics contractor on getting this animation here made that shows our email editor product in use and like a demonstration of some of the, the things you can do with it. And I think that that will be a really great thing to include um, in, the, in the header of our page. I don't have content for this page that will go into this structure that our product marketing manager has laid out, but I know our product well enough to like write a draft myself. So that's what I'm gonna do to get started. I don't feel like I need to let that hold me up or anything. Um, so I'm going to actually set a timer for myself. Um, we'll use the Forest app. And let's commit to spending an hour on wireframing. Well, for having only spent like maybe an hour, 20 minutes on this, I think I've made great progress. I think my next step is to make a little loom video walking through these designs and share it with the team for feedback because I don't want to move um, forward too much more without their input. But let me walk you through what I have done. So I took a few of my favorite of the hand-drawn wireframes that I made and um, have mocked them up into honestly much higher fidelity than perhaps I needed to. But because we're working on a design system for a marketing site, which by the way, you can watch a video about, I actually had a lot of pieces I could pull from um, to end up with a fairly high fidelity looking design. So this first one has the animation up the top. That's what this is a placeholder for. And it also has like a little tab with um, the search term in it. I noticed that on one of the example ad pages seemed like a good idea. Could get confusing though, be too many elements. So I don't know, I wanna get input on that. Um, but then we have um, this block here. Right now we have this testimonial group as just like the three images but I know we've been wanting to turn it into a carousel. So maybe this is a good opportunity to build that component, make it happen um, for us to be able to share more stuff. Then we come down here to um, a bit more information about the product, then our pricing table to end off the page. Um, in the second one, instead of having a image to the right with text on the left, I've decided to try out a big large product image because the animation here is quite stylized. You're not getting a real sense of our product from it. 
um, and personally as a creator I always like to see that so yeah I thought that this could be a good idea and then we have three points down here obviously all these icons won't be the same this next one has the centered hero image that our product marketing manager asked for the reason I didn't do it for these ones is because I felt like the animation was kind of too small to be centered um, that it needed left hand left aligned <laughs> text to make that work but here I have the idea of bringing the product image up to the top and then putting the animation in further down the page and then here the same idea but with that staying sticky and adding in another CTA button as well um, so that there's more as you go down the page it is a page for ads after all it's pretty basic and it makes use of a lot of components that we already have but I want to share this now for feedback and see if I'm on the right track and also hopefully get some real content into this um, for the next design session just so I'm sure of exactly how many like feature callouts uh, for example I need to be working with not bad though for having only spent an hour and a half on this and I will fill you in on the team's feedback okay it's like two weeks later this project got put on pause a little bit as we went on our team retreat I'll leave a link to that video on a card I think up in that corner <laughs> if you want to watch my vlog from that but I have copy for this page now I have feedback on the designs that I shared so now I'm going to set another hour timer and get into updating the design, adding some details and adding in the correct copy. Two weeks later. All right, it's a few weeks later again. This page is finally live and I wanna walk you through some final design decisions and of course show you the finished product. So from the initial designs, um, the one we chose to go with was a version of this one here with the motion graphic because that's gonna be the graphic used in ads and it's good to yeah create that connection between what someone saw in an ad and what they see on a page. So we went with this um, text on the left, motion graphic on the right. A key piece of feedback that I got on like these original designs was that the pricing section felt a little bit overwhelming, which I agree with there's a lot of details to do with our plans and we felt like perhaps we just didn't have to give all of the details presented in this format on this page like maybe there's enough we can tell people to help them make a decision without them feeling like they have to go visit our pricing page and so that's what I was exploring down here this is like a version of a plan box that we've done in the past but I really wanted to find a way to allow people to see um, how the price changes as their email list size increases because I think it's really important to know before you're signing up for a plan and so this was my different variations of like trying to figure this out and and in the end, instead of doing the slider like we have on the pricing page, I actually went for a drop down where you can um, yeah, click in the drop down and select your plan level. So if I come up here into my to build section, this was the final file that I handed over to Corey, our developer, to work on with some little notes around here as well. So you can see we have like a gradient on the page um, so that we don't have like full yellow butting up against the full pink. Um, there's time for the color to sort of like fade out a little bit along the way. The design translated really easily to mobile, a lot of things stacking, or like in this case here, having the carousel show just one image with slight peaks of two off the side rather than showing three with slight peaks of two off the side. One thing I wanted to do, because it's kind of hard to see product imagery at this detail on a mobile screen, is that I created a simplified version for mobile of the product so that we're still showing off some of the features, like the fact you can do A-B testing, like a little bit of our UI, so people can see how the text editing and what the experience would be like definitely doesn't show as much detail as um, on the desktop screen where we can see this like new layout block being added in but I felt like going for clarity was more important than showing a lot of detail on mobile this element here is kind of new for us to show such a large scale product image like this but it's something we want to do more of on our feature pages so it was fun to experiment with this here in this ad landing page which is kind of like a self-contained asset but as you can see as well, it's one that could easily be swapped out with different content to promote a different feature, you know, different motion graphic or image at the top, um, different product image in here, different copy, different points. Um, the plan is going to be the same no matter what feature we're promoting, just like maybe the um, CTA above it will be different, but it's going to be really adaptable and help us out with our um, ad traffic, hopefully. Let me show you the final page. So here we can see the motion graphic embedded. We did briefly try to embed the motion graphic directly on the page through, I think it was called Body Movin, is like this plugin that goes with After Effects to help you export an animation um, as an SVG animation. I don't actually know all the detail. I'm sounding like I do, I don't. <laughs> but there was just like some little parts about the way this animation was put together that didn't work well for that. And so, yeah, we just embedded an MP4 in the end. And I know we wanna come back to trying that direct 
um, SVG embedded animation in the future because um, not only is the file size a lot smaller, it's a lot clearer and sharper too. But you know, for now, this serves a purpose. It's going to connect with the ad that someone will have seen, which I'll briefly show on screen here so you can just get a feel for what that looks like. Yeah, um, another compromise we made was to this scrolling testimonial carousel, I guess we'll call it. Instead of having like a little peak off both sides like this, we had to have it load like this for now for time constraint reasons. But again, it's something we want to come back to. This product image section turned out really well. And if I shrink in like this, you can see it swaps out for the mobile image when you get to a smaller screen size. And yeah, this plan drop down, we ended up not including all of the levels of our plans. Cause like we have a 7K plan and like a 15K plan. And you know, as you get up higher, you've got 155, 165, 175. It was going to be an overwhelming drop down. So instead we're giving people a good sense of what they'll end up paying for their list size um, before they sign up. But once they actually start using the product, they can get onto the correct plan for them anyway, if there is one in the middle. But I think this turned out really well and much better than the slider for helping people make a just a quick decision to get a rough idea of the price. We only just started sending traffic to this page very recently, so I've not yet heard how it's doing in terms of conversion rate, but I'm definitely going to check on that and uh, perhaps I'll report back to you on that in a future video about how it's doing. Maybe we'll make some updates, do an iteration based on what we learn from how people are using the page, what they're clicking on, because that is one of the things that I love about being an in-house marketing designer is being able to revisit work like this and make improvements. If you enjoyed this style of show and tell, taking you along the process of designing something, showing you the finished product, then you should check out a video I made about creating our brand guidelines. This was a project that was well overdue that we quite honestly should have done years ago, but in reality, we only did it a few months ago. You can go watch that process and hear about that experience right here.